what are your tendencies? How, how are the balls different? Uh, I mean, I don't want to say I throw no ducks or nothing, but like, <laughs> when it comes out as a duck, you know, we both throw them, I'm sure. But, you uh -huh. know, we have tendencies. The ball come out different. Maybe a little more rotation on the ball or something like that. So. Cool. Thank you. Yes, Talk about Alabama. What would it mean to you to beat those guys? Because they're getting talked about as potential national championship. Team. It would mean a lot to me. Um, just being out there on the field with those guys and knowing that they got me last year, I want to get back at them. So um, it would mean a lot to me. Are you looking your chance for a second shot? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. I've been thinking about it a lot, but you can't put nothing past anybody. We came out here, we were preparing for this team. Um, we didn't do any Alabama stuff this whole week, so this week we'll uh, buckle down and get to the. Why was that the game you decided to watch over and over again on, on film? Well, I watched them all, but I was just it, knew did you this. Did you watch that one more? I'd say I watched them all equally. Oh, I watched okay. all the games, but, but um, Alabama, I knew they were closer in the season and everything, so. They were going to be my first big game, thing, so I watched them a lot. Are you getting more and more angry as you see it? Uh, I don't know if it's a like spot that I can't <laughs> pass, but I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't think I get that much angry. I know everything I did. I know the mistakes that I had, so I'm cool with it Rob, talk about, you know, from this year to last year, I mean, you, you know, even in warm-ups, just walk, watching you, you know, run around out there, I mean, you look a lot more comfortable. Mm -hmm. You look a lot more at ease. Yeah. Talk about that. I definitely am. Like I said, being around here and just being with the guys. Um, you get to know them as people better, and that's always going to help your game, just that. And um, I've been around. I know the system better. The plays last year, I was kind of walking up to the line thinking, oh, Moy's running this, Justin's running this, instead of looking at the defense and saying, all right, they're too deep, rotating the three, stuff like that. So now I can do that stuff. I'm not worried about what Justin or any of them are doing. I'm looking at the defense and saying what I have. So it's helped my game a lot. It sounds like Joe still wants to keep playing two QBs. I'm sorry if you already asked this, but what, what are your thoughts on that? Do you, do, do you care? Are you comfortable with the situation? Um, I think any quarterback would want to be the guy. Um, I feel like I, I want to be the guy. But like I said, I'm not calling it. Um, it's Joe's decision, so let's see how he handles it. How do you think you played today? I think I did really well. Um, with the situations that I had, I think I made the most of them. And I think the whole line did a great job opening holes for Silas and Beecham and a lot of those other guys and allowing me to uh, get the ball downfield at times. So I think we played really good. Is it a challenge getting into a rhythm with the type of system you saw today? Um, I, would, I would say just a little bit because we both were running kind of the same things. Like when we went, we went to our quick game and both of us were doing the same thing. So um, it was a little different, but. No big deal. Would you like have would you have liked to have probed them deeper a little? You know, I mean, trying to stretch it a little bit more today. What you mean? Throwing the ball down down oh. the field deeper more often today. Oh, um, we had shots, but I mean, I'm not thinking about that. I think when I did throw deep, I had a couple options underneath to go to, but I mean, it's no big deal. Derek apologized to you for that too. Nah, he didn't apologize. <laughs> man, get you, Derek. Nah, it's cool. It's nothing. He didn't know they uh, talk to you about sliding at all after this game? Yeah, like I said, I need to learn my uh, sliding technique. I'm going to probably focus at a baseball class or something. They said <laughs> you were looking at tape of uh, Michael Robinson, but he went about 235 when he was doing that. Yeah, yeah, he he had a couple pounds on me. But like I said, I'm going to learn how to do it, so nothing to worry about. What are you doing on the sideline when Matt's in there? He said he's kind of taking mental reps and, and reading the coverages himself. What, what are you doing? Is it kind of the same thing for you? When yeah, you're I'm doing everything that can help me in the next series. Um, looking at him and seeing what the defense is giving him compared to me and also getting my guys ready. That's on the sideline, rotating in, getting them ready to go back in so they can um, be on top of their game to help Matt out. So um, when I'm on the sideline, I'm making the most of it. I'm not just sitting back chilling, <laughs> waiting for me to go back up.